Windcraft currently has eight different tiers of items. Normal, Unique, Rare, Set, Legendary, Fabled, Mythic, and Crafted. While they may not individually be very powerful, set items feature a unique mechanic where if you wear two or more pieces of the set, you gain extra bonuses on top of what the gear would normally provide. These bonuses are unique to each different set and increase relative to the number of pieces you are wearing. In this series, I will be showcasing and analyzing every armor set in Windcraft. This is Set Spotlight. Hello and welcome to episode 6 of Set Spotlight. It's been a while since I made one of these and I'm excited to finally be back to regular weekly episodes. In today's episode, we will be looking at the Beachside Set. The Beachside Set can be obtained as a drop from enemies located on the east side of the coastal trail just to the west of Nemract. The Beachside Set is exclusive to the Shaman class and has the only set weapon for the Shaman class in the entire game as of the recording of this video. The Beachside Head Wrap requires level 17 and 5 intelligence to wear and gives plus 75 health, plus 6 water defense, plus 3 intelligence, between plus 2% and plus 10% water defense, and between plus 2% and plus 10% loot bonus. The Beachside Conch requires level 19 and 8 intelligence to wield and deals 42 to 48 neutral damage with a slow attack speed. The conch also gives between minus 8% and minus 16% main attack damage, between minus 6% and minus 10% spell damage, between plus 4% and plus 16% water damage, and between plus 2% and plus 10% water defense. If the conch is held while the helmet is worn, a set bonus of plus 35% water damage, plus 25% water defense, and plus 20% loot bonus is applied. This is the first set in terms of level to give a percentage increase to elemental defense, and so I feel it is important to know how elemental defense works before I continue. To put it simply, elemental defense is a flat value damage reduction against damage of that element. So if you have 10 of an elemental defense in total, you take 10 less damage from an attack of that element. This works differently for spells, and my boy Sayaduck, I think that's how you say it, has a phenomenal video on the topic that I will link in the pinned comment below. Back to the Beachside set itself now, the set bonus for this set gives a large percentage boost to water damage and water defense, but there's a bit of a problem with that. The set doesn't give very much water defense to begin with, so you would need to actually seek out other gear that gives water defense to make use of it at all. Also, the conch does not deal any water damage, and only has a single powder slot, so you couldn't put much on it with the water powder. The Shaman's third spell, Aura, does deal water damage, but that spell is not available until level 21, and the set is for level 19. Once again, you would need to build around the stat to make use of the bonus, but even if you do that, due to the weapon having a negative main attack damage and spell damage, it will be outclassed by almost literally everything else at the same level. The only thing this set really has going for it with the water damage is the grade 2 and 3 upgrades for the totem heal the player within the radius for a percentage of the shaman's maximum health. This percentage is increased by having a percentage increase of water damage, the amount of water damage this set gives in total is fairly decent and provides a moderate increase to the healing per second of the totem, but unfortunately this is rendered worthless when you factor the inconsistency of the set bonus actually applying. The set bonus of this set and any other set with a weapon rely on you holding the weapon for them to apply. Upon logging out and back in, switching weapons, changing to a potion to heal, changing to your horse to summon it, or in some rare cases randomly whilst fighting, the set bonus can be disabled and it might not re-enable for a couple seconds. The only other thing the set bonus gives is loot bonus. 20% is pretty decent, but the level 15 unique relic Diamond Sky can give up to 23% loot bonus, so you can get a better loot bonus on an easier to get weapon that doesn't require a specific helmet to be worn to get said bonus. At this level, there are also two other helmets that give 10% loot bonus, and they're both easier to obtain. The Creeper Infiltration Quest gives access to a merchant that sells several masks that are extremely easy to get with just a couple minutes of work, and always have the same stats so you don't have to worry about RNG. The Water Mask gives more water defense, more intelligence, mana regen, and a 10% increase to spell damage and water damage. This helmet at the cost of a bit of health allows any similar leveled relic to outclass this set for combat. And the black mask, worn alongside the previously mentioned Diamond Sky, will outclass this set for loot bonus. If I had to describe this set in a single word, I would describe it as... pathetic. This set is by far the most useless set I have covered in the series, and I cannot think of a scenario in which I would ever recommend it. 